Hey you all, it's Shelly Wellness here from The Mindful Plate, and today we are going to be making sea moss. This is organic, wild-crafted sea moss, and it is from a Black-owned company, a mother-daughter team out of South Florida called New Legacy Vegans. Let's get into the recipe. So to start, you need to figure out how much sea moss gel do you want. Generally, I fill up a 16 ounce container and one ounce of dry sea moss is gonna produce about a 16 ounce amount of sea moss gel. So this thing grows, y'all, it expands. Now, once you decide how much sea moss you're going to need to make your sea moss gel, you wanna wash it. Just like we wash our produce, we wanna wash our sea moss. Do not, I repeat, do not take this out the bag and just start soaking it because you will get some grit and some grain that you do not want. So the washing process is an intricate one. It's a mindful one. It's one that's gonna require your presence. None of this is rinsing it underwater. So because we're investing in our health and our body and sea moss is not cheap, hello? We wanna make sure that we're also investing in the water that we're using to wash this. So I don't care if you live in a city like New York, I'm talking to you New Yorkers, and you think your water is the cleanest water, listen, do not use your sink local water. I want you to invest in some spring water, distilled water, some fresh water, and that's what you're gonna use to wash this as well as soak this. Now, the washing process, you wanna go through this a couple of times, maybe three times. So as you notice, what I'm doing here is I'm pouring fresh water into this bowl, and I am agitating it. That agitation is going to loosen up any debris. A lot of it we can't see. It's like particles of sand and dirt and that sort of thing. That's not pleasant. We want our gel to be smooth and silky and creamy, not gritty, you feel me? So you wanna make sure that you wash this, wash this well. And as you're washing, you are agitating, you're draining, all right? So wash, agitate, drain, rinse, keep going through that process. There we go. <laughs> Do that about three times. Once you get it done, you're gonna soak this. So this is where you're going to add this to your pot or your bowl and you're going to put your wasp sea moss in. And if you've noticed, this baby has grown, right? Because it's going to expand. And so the sea moss, it starts off dried and, and, and shriveled, but as you add water, it expands. So you're gonna add just enough water to make sure that she's covered twice over because she's gonna expand, she's gonna grow. So when you come back after her eight to 24 hours of soaking, you're gonna see she's gonna be almost twice, three times the size as she was. Now, how long should you soak her for? Minimum eight hours if you're in a rush, although I don't know what type of rush that is, eight hours is pretty long, but Ideally, 24 hours, just overnight, just soak her. And when you come back to her, she is going to be well hydrated and flourishing in that bowl or pot, y'all. Now, once you come back to her and you see that she's flourishing and hydrated, do not, I repeat, do not take that same water that she was soaking in and put her in a blender. You want to drain that water and you wanna give her some new fresh water, quality water. Remember, we invested in our water. So whether it's your spring water, your distilled water, you choose, but you want to refresh in her and blend her with fresh water. Now, how much water do you use? Well, first put her into the blender by herself. Once she gets in there, look at her, see where she is, and then you wanna pour in just enough water to barely cover her. And you blend and you blend and you blend and you blend. Now, how long you blend depends on how silky and smooth you want her to be. So I like her to have no chunks whatsoever and to be smooth like a puree. So I keep her blending and blending and blending until she is absolutely smooth and spoonable. But again, that's up to you. And then of course, once she's all done, you put her in a clean, sterilized glass container. store her in the fridge, and you enjoy her throughout the week. If you're not adding this to your morning breakfast, you should be. Let's just say I don't necessarily love the flavor of sea moss, but I do love what it does. 
So if you want an idea for a way to incorporate sea moss into your breakfast or into your diet, check out my other video, Sea Moss Applesauce, and get your life. All right, you guys, that's the sea moss, and that's the sea moss that is going to increase your energy, support healthy digestion, promote healthy skin, nails, and hair, promote a healthy thyroid function, and so many more benefits. I hope you all like the recipe, and try the brand New Legacy Vegans. They ship everywhere, and if you're in South Florida, you can also get them in stores there. Check them out, and if you love the video, like it, and please share it with other people. Don't keep all the goodness to yourself. <laughs> I'll see you all next time you're watching The Mindful Plate. Until then, eat well and be well. Mwah.